Hey, this is Devin Odlin. I'm with your Kydex Holster Lab. So uh, I'm gonna go over real quick some of the things that we're gonna use on this. Um, I've got a, a chicken out. I'm not doing a pistol. I'm just scared to death of it. So I'm gonna start off by making a mold of a Glock 19 mag or Glock 17 mag. Yeah, it'll work the same way either way. My intent, uh, I put a little snap cap in here. I'm gonna tape over the top of that. I'm gonna use a couple of pieces of uh, craft sticks to give me just a little bit of a, a buffer here. So that way I have a little bit of extra room. And my intent is to drop a screw on that side to use as kind of an adjustable retention piece. So I can kind of tighten up the kydex or loosen it as I need to to get the pistol in and out. Very simple template, scrap piece of cardboard. And basically in a nutshell, that's kind of what I'm trying to come up with. And then I can put my mounts over here and then kind of cut it to shape, uh, depending on how much room I have. And my intent is to have, oh, it'll be more up and down. My intent is to have a retention screw right here that'll apply pressure and squeeze on this piece. So, uh, of course, heat gun, Kydex, Kydex press, and set of gloves that I left in the kitchen. All right, we've got a whole bunch of tape. We've got our sticks in there, so that'll act as the little kind of like wedge that'll hopefully allow us to open and close this a little bit and adjust our tension a touch, I think. And yeah, hopefully so good so far. And here we begin. I got temperature set to 350. I got it on the air bake, so hopefully it gets a lot of airflow in there and the bottom gets just as hot as the top. And we're gonna see, we're gonna see. I don't know, we'll figure it out. All right, because this is a toaster oven, I'm basically kind of letting it get up to temperature a little bit because it only really has one heating element on the top. And so I let it get, I tried doing the whole air fry thing to circulate air underneath it a little, but you can see what happens when I do that. It starts to bend a little bit, which I don't know if that matters a ton. I turned my temperature down to about 330. So, but then what I do is after I hit it for a few seconds, let's see. There you go. Let's see. I kind of pop it. I let that heat kind of just soak in a little bit. So I'm getting close. And so we'll let it sit for a second and then stop. All right, here we go. So I've got my piece of material. I've got my, oh no, I've got my sticks right here. I'm gonna bend it on over. All right, we are dead center and straight up and down it looks like. So now it's time to see how tight we can get it. Minor technical difficulties. Ignore that. That is not good. I wonder what the fuck was that? Broke the top off my uh, my press here. Uh, oh no! How fast can you fix it, Devin? Oh, I lost the pad. Disaster strikes. This is supposed to be a good one too. All right, we're in the clamp. All right, so moment of truth. I'm gonna try not to shoot myself in the face. And let's see here. Oh man, look at that. It's a perfect, I'm just kidding, it's a blade. 
All right, so that is what we're looking at. It actually looks pretty dang good. It's snug though. Not too shabby, so I'm thinking. I'm excited now. I have to test and see if I worked my Glock holster at all. Find out how indestructible these things are, I guess. Yeah, it looks okay. At the end of the day, it's better a Glock holster than the whole pistol. I, I inadvertently created a little bit of a retention device right there. And so you can kind of see right there where the, uh, the mag catch. And so I think if I, if I do what I'm planning on doing with a little screw there, I'll make it a little adjustable. So not too shabby for first attempt at a Kite Express. So, and I even got enough of material if I wanted to, I could work the edges a little bit with a heat gun and get it to conform more to the body. Not bad, count that as a win.